National 9 News, this is Nightline with Hugh Remington. Flooding and evacuations as evening storms sweep Sydney. The spirit of Tasmania involved in a scare leaving Melbourne tonight. And planned health fund rises attacked by the Prime Minister. Good evening. Also tonight, no action against Steve Waugh after an angry outburst against journalists. But first, flooding rains have hit Sydney and surrounding areas tonight, causing evacuations and widespread damage. Many homes have been affected, with patients from two hospitals forced from their wards by rising water. Brad Schmidt reports. The flooding came after a day of unrelenting rain. By early evening, emergency services were responding to hundreds of calls for help. Ken Sutcliffe for Nightline. To Finance News Now, and the Australian stock market started the week on a high, with the All Ordinaries up close to 20 points. Resource shares led the way, with BHP Billiton and Rio Tinto both hitting record highs. The banking and gold sectors also did well. Among those losing ground, CSL, CSR and IAG, the new name for the NRMA. Profit takers also took the edge off Lang Corporation. Overseas, Tokyo closed down almost 160 points. The FTSE in London is trading 22 points lower. Gold is fetching $285.95 US an ounce. And the Australian dollar tonight buying 51.06 US cents, 59 euro cents, 68 yen and 36 pence. Ahead on Nightline, the problems in saving a ship off England. And the international stars stealing the limelight at the Super Bowl. This is Nightline. Qantas is investigating how a woman broke into one of their planes at Bundaberg. Police say she got into the cockpit of the 33-seater Shorts commuter plane when it was parked on the tarmac. The aircraft was not damaged. It was flown to Brisbane today for maintenance. A 24-year-old woman will appear in court charged with being unlawfully in possession of an aircraft. From one of the world's smoggiest cities comes claims today of scientific evidence linking air pollution to asthma. Los Angeles experts say children are three times more likely to develop asthma if they live in a city with high pollution and regularly do strenuous exercise. Doctors already know smog aggravates symptoms in people who have asthma. But... Daniel Blyde for Nightline. After the break, the league stars helping seal our World Rugby Sevens victory. And Kathy Freeman confirms her comeback race. To sport now, an Australian rugby league coach Chris Anderson is recovering tonight after triple bypass surgery. The 49-year-old coach suffered a heart attack while on the Kangaroos tour last year. Tonight his condition is said to be satisfactory and he's expected to be back coaching Cronulla by the end of the month. Meanwhile, the New South Wales Rugby League has finally confirmed David Gallup as the new boss. He's been acting chief executive since November. David Gallup lives in the heart of South Sydney and admits he has a soft spot for the Rabbitohs. For March the 7th. Next, tomorrow's weather details, the latest on tonight's top stories and the new milestone for Miracle Twins. The first day of school is always memorable, but for a Victorian couple who never thought they'd experience the event, it has been particularly special. Twins Deanna and Cody Marshmans finally made it five years after they made medical history. With their bags packed and uniforms on, Deanna and Cody Marshman are typical five-year-olds. Matt Down for Nightline. To the national weather and tropical cyclone Chris is off the West Australian coast. There's an associated trough stretching over the north. There's a low also over Queensland, but a high over Tasmania. The forecasts, a shower or two in Darwin and a late shower or storm in Brisbane. Rain at times in Sydney and Canberra, mainly fine in Melbourne, Hobart and Adelaide. And in Perth, a hot, unsettled day ahead. Now an update on our main stories of the night and continuous heavy rain has caused flooding across much of Sydney tonight. Many homes have been damaged and patients had to be moved from wards at two Sydney hospitals. Tonight some major roads remain underwater. The state emergency service and fire crews are expecting to work through the night. 
The Spirit of Tasmania is continuing its journey across Bass Strait tonight after ramming a wharf in Melbourne as it attempted to set off in strong winds. The collision caused minor damage to the side of the vessel. And the federal government appears unlikely to approve the full increase in premiums being sought by the major health insurers. The country's largest fund, Medibank Private, wants a 13% rise in fees, which the Prime Minister says is a bit rich. And that was the day. I'm Hugh Rimmington from all of us here at Nightline. Good night.